welterweight tilt between Jorge Masvidal and Gilbert Dorino Burns. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Nice punch by Burns. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Again, going for the takedown and once again able to get it. It's because he does such a phenomenal job of timing his entry. Truly, truly inspiring to watch. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's his jab. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He's working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic oh, sweep. Just a slip there. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. Crowd is like, just when you get up, you go down as another takedown on tip land. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. 
by beating him on the entry. Now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. And now he's secured back position. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Burns. Ooh. Got the single collar tie. Oh. oh, that's a good strike there by Burns. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Attacking the triangle, he finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Last triangle, last triangle. All right, so he postures up and he's out. Down into his mouth. Gets up again here, but hurting. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that thing. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 24 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by Gilbert! Yeah, yeah, yeah.